Hello everyone. Now we are going to draw feet rod bearing. This is another drawing. It is in metric, so I already started with metric. Like this file, new metric, standard part millimeter, and create. Then I will choose which work plane to start working with. Y, Z, X, Z, X, Y, which is basically, I will choose this one, the front view, the X, Y start 2d sketch okay so i will start with this circle 48 the external 48 okay and there is a distance here 64 okay so I'll draw line and this distance from here to here is 64 okay and then I have two circles the distance between them 60 so I'll draw a vertical line I will make this line lock okay because I don't want or fix I don't want it to be moved okay and then I will draw one circle here and one circle here okay in this case from here to here the distance is 30 and the total distance 60 okay now let's see what we have we have this diameter r19 so 19 multiplied by 2 I can press now and this it will give me the same okay so 64 19 48 okay now I'll draw a line from here to here and from here to here and from here to here I will make tangent this line tangent this line tangent 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 and tangent I will trim unnecessary or unwanted part okay this one I will mark this as construction line So this is my drawing, I will extrude, the value is 13, so 13, okay, this is my drawing. Now I will start 2D sketch here, I will draw from this center another circle which is also 48, see, 48, okay, and then I will extrude this circle, what's the value? Okay, 48 from center to center, but we have to remove 13. So I will say 48 minus 13. So it will be this value. Okay. Now let's make the rip in the middle. The rip in the middle has value of 11. It's from this edge until this edge okay that's what we need to know so I will click here I will draw it from the right side of you okay I will do like this I will click on the right side of you this line here in the middle into this work plan into this work plan start to the sketch and then we'll choose from here to here to here to here okay and now don't forget when you are doing this rep you have to click on view wireframe 
and in the middle here you have to extend the line a little bit like this see I have to draw extra line here okay and I will draw a line from here connect to this line and line from here connect to this line I will draw trim trim why I did this line because if you have cylindrical part and if you do extrude without having this line they will not have close profile here okay because intersection of cylinder and rectangle okay so mid distance which is 11 okay 11 view back to shaded and edges okay we have this part wait let me check this sketch yes okay so now we'll add we draw here start to this sketch here you can rotate a little bit and you can draw at the center draw one circle the diameter is 11 for the small one okay we ignore this one we draw for the bigger one which is 25 okay so we draw a circle here 25 and another one here 25 okay and here they are telling you it has extrusion 16 16 minus 13 will be 3 so it, it's only going to be extruded by 3 millimeter so here and here the value 3 okay okay and now we are going to create extrude again or hole but I prefer to add extrude okay here into the center and add 11 another one 11 okay and finish you can extrude this one this one cut all the way and then add sketch here and you have 28.58 28.52 we choose 28.54 28.54 extrude cut all okay now we are done we finish our part let's choose color for this part you see this one let's make it and try to make it brown yes like this one view visual style okay we'll add shadow a little bit and don't forget to add fillet see fillet and round and r3 so we'll add fillet 3 okay here 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 and here also here and other side here and here okay so this is what we have okay except the 13 or is it cannot be blended at the current size cancel cancel okay that's it this one and this one this one and this one apply this one and this one apply uh -huh. here we have problem this value and this value apply and then this value apply okay sometimes these things happen okay and here we have fillet and here we have fillet so apply so that's it we go to the part here we are we are done from this part
to make dimensions we'll set the part first which is feed rod bearing file new dimension we can add base to be this view no problem we'll add two three okay let's choose the size to be three I prefer to add section view so section view to this side and I can add projected to this one here I will change the size edit view to 0.5 and also this one edit view 2.5 and as a okay and we can do also we can bring this here bring the section view here and make put the section view in the back and make right side or left side view here see projected for, from this one I want here okay this will be give you proper dimensions okay then another section of you for the hole, like this one. Right. Section view. Another section of you. Let's have from here. Here, okay. You can put the section line here as a broken section view. See this called broken section view. We can put it on the top of it, like this. And, and. Yes, they are matching almost. Okay, so this is broken section view. Okay. Annotation, we can add center. We can add center mark. This section of you is not in the center. center line is not in the center okay so we'll add dimensions from here to here from here dimension type diameter Center to center. The height. Edit will change the dimension size. Dimension and centimeter. Display five three. Text edit. Seven, save and close. These are the value. Mm, I don't 
we're missing anything on this one 16 from here to here 16 not 11 this one 11 from here to here 25 11 13 16 if I forget any dimension please write it in the comment let me know if you have any suggestion anything you want to know I am ready to help. see you next